and they have between them won over two million in win and place prize money. Number one, Al Hijaz, ridden by Willie Carson, currently coated at 20 to 1. Number two, Environment Friend, at 25 to 1, George Duffield's mad. Number three, Azul, Walter Swinburne, 33 to 1. Number four, Aguado Danibali, at 50 to 1, ridden by Daryl Holland. Number five, Red Bishop at 12 to 1, Frankie Dettori. Number six, six uh, Spartan Sharif at 50 to 1, Ray Cochran. Number seven, Blues Traveller, 14 to 1 for Mick Kinane. Number eight is Revelation at 8 to 1, Tony Cruz. Number nine, Sabre Hill, the 6 to 4 favourite, Michael Robert rides. Number 10, 10 B, ridden by Pat Edery at 8 to 1. Number 11, White Muzzle at 7 to 4, the man with John Reed. That's the lineup then for this Group 1, Class A, Judmont International. He's great. Okay. Lined up then for the Judmont International and they uh, race away and Sabre Hill very frisky out but uh, taken back early on. The pace doesn't look that strong and it's probably just Blues Traveller that's edging into the lead. Blues Traveller racing away from the stalls with the call just over White Muzzle who's uh, through on the inside. Revelation taking a keen hold uh, wide and just with these is Spartan Sharif who has front run in the past. And then uh, Michael Roberts on Sabre Hill back in fifth place. Um, and he's taking quite a keen hold. Al Jahaz on the outside of him, then the grey environment friend visor for the first time today. Azu behind these in blue, and Tembi's uh, tucked away the trailer just behind Guado Danibali as they go through the first quarter mile. But it's Blues Traveller then uh, attacking and uh, front running by length to Revelation showing in second place, White Muzzle, the inside of Spartan Jarif, third and fourth. And then Sabre Hill uh, racing five, still racing keenly on the inside of Al Hijaz with Environment Friend and uh, Red Bishop making a stride forward. Uh, Guido Danibali behind that, then Izud, and the back marker is Tenby. And so they start the turn out of the back straight, and they've still got over five to go. And it's still Blues Traveller leading, but the top jocks aren't satisfied with the pace. And uh, John Reed on White Muzzle attacked as they pass the five and pass halfway. Blues Traveller the inside, Revelation, Sabre Hill, the horse with the white face. Yellow cap is uh, Spartan Sharif, these ahead of Azud, then Tembi the pink cap, Guado Danabal is outpaced, uh, Al Jahi Jazz has got a bit to do, they've got three and a half to go, and it's White Muzzle going on the striped cap, Sabre Hill bouncing off the ground, Spartan Sharif in behind them, Revelation then, Blues Traveller, his work is done and they're past the three, and it's White Muzzle being pressed on the outside by Sabre Hill, and look at this horse, Sabre Hill stride up on the outside of White Muzzle, and it's turning the race into a procession, he's gone past the two and it's Sabre Hill aggressive gone clear by two to Spartan Sharif and Azud and White Muzzle who folds Revelation can find no more they race down to the final furlong and Sabre Hill striding out well Azud is after him Azud is closing as the post comes Sabre Hill pressed hard by Azud and Azud's cut to take it Azud wins the international Azud takes to Sabre Hill a big break to Spartan Sharif then Revelation and White Muzzle and Blues Traveller and Tenby who never got into the race Guado Danibali beat three environment and friend Al Hijaz and Reb Bishop who dropped away to be last of all and so the result then of this Judmont International Stakes it's a win for number three Ezud in the colours of Maktoum Al Maktoum this one trained at Newmarket by Michael Stout ridden by Walter Swinburne 28 to 1 the odds of reward on uh, for big race Walter first number three Ezud at 28 to 1 second number nine Sabre Hill 7 to 4 favourite and third, number six, Spartan Sharif returned at 50 to 1. The tape paid 20 pounds exactly for the win. The place is 380, 160, and 7 pounds 60. And the dual forecast came to 49 pounds exactly. And 11 rounds.